a mod with end metal mods video coming soon no i don't think so i really don't think that that little bit of info is worthy for a video plus i've already explained it like seriously all he needs to do is uh, snip this part of the stream and make it into a video this would help a lot of players that i can do however because that would have a different style no robo voice not hidden within more of the game you know like a bigger topic but just really only this yeah i could do that And now I'll rise above you. The heat and colds. Ah, that's the way. There we go. Boom. There you go. Viral and heat. Okay. So there you go. You have to have this can be up here too, it doesn't matter. You have to have the way the way warframe builds and everything the way they kind of um calculate the mods and how the elements combine is it basically uses whatever is in here as the prime mod there isn't anything in here so there is no prime mod so it doesn't have innate heat or anything like that okay so there's no prime mod so it starts at basically empty so to speak Okay, so then it checks each slot one by one. This is number one, number two, three, four, five, all the way to eight, okay? The build mechanics then check one, two, three. Oh, look, frost, so cold damage, and it applies cold damage to the stats on the left. Then it goes four. Oh, look, a new elemental. It combines those two immediately and puts that over here. And then it counts further, and it's like, oh, another elemental. Well, I already have a combination, so I'll just combine the last one with whatever is primed. Since there's nothing primed, it puts heat in there. Does that make sense? So, in other words, if this, if this had heat in it, then what the build would do is, let's say that the war would have innate heat. It already has heat in here with uh, not heat but um what was it what was the example that i just used let's set fuck it let's use heat it doesn't matter it has innate heat no mods on it it already has heat then that is the prime mod so to speak it is primed in the stats is what i'm trying to get at then it starts counting one two three and then it's like oh okay third one is 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 something combines with what's in here there's in our case nothing though but it would combine with what's in here then it would go to the next one and be like, oh, we got a new one. Well, I think the player wants to force these two to combine, so it will ignore what's primed in here. It combines these two, continues to look through. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, a new one that's left over. Well, I guess the player wanted these two to combine, so I'm going to go ahead and combine this with what's ever already on the weapon. That's kind of how it works. Sometimes it gets a little funky and tricky, but... That's basically the gist of it. But any, in any case, as long as wherever you put them, it's um, the viral combinations first. So cold and toxin, they need to be first in the build. It doesn't matter where they are. It can be here. It can be here. As long as you count from one, two, three, four. As long as the cold and the toxins appear in the build before heat does, you're fine. If you put heat here in front of a viral for example it fucks it up it'll be different but where they are other than that doesn't matter so there you go a new follower of peasant i ran into a fellow ashy sogi tenno while going on alerts <laughs> lol awesome what is the best primary to get at MR9? I have no idea what's available to you, but honestly, just pick whichever one you find coolest. Whichever one that is, I'm pretty sure it will kill everything in the game. You're missing Gladiator Vice. Yes, I know. Oh, look. A new follower, peasant. You should just swap them around till I got what I wanted. That works, but there is logic behind it. There, There is logic behind it. Like, let's see. Um... Let's go with, uh, what was that thing's name? I've been starting to forget a lot of Warframe weapon names lately. It's not... 
No. Well, actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This would work too. Actually, the Meyer should work. Operator, we have received more cannon fodder. Who goes there? <sighs> Riled up gorilla. Uh, Paramount Moose. Uh, Big Johnson. VTuber Leech. And Chicky Chicky Chicky. Thank you guys very much for your follows and welcome to the Army of Peasants. Uh, okay, so look at this weapon, for example. Let's see if I remember how this works correctly. So this weapon already has toxin in it. So pretending that there's already a mod in here, in this stat thing. That's like the easier, easiest way to visualize it. Okay, so toxin. All right. Now, if I put something in here... In any of these slots, since I'm going to leave them all empty, it'll count one, nothing, two, nothing, three, nothing, four. Maybe I put the mod there. And I'll be like, oh, there's an element. Whatever that element is, the first element that it counts from one through eight will combine with toxin. So let's go cold. And there you go. It's viral now. Okay. Because it counts this. It doesn't matter where the viral is. The only thing that this thing cares about is what's the first elemental if it travels looks through here what's the first elemental it finds and that will combine with this here okay now what else can be combined with cold uh blast let's say heat okay now if i get heat if i put a heat in here if i if i'm not mixing things up because i have fucked this up myself sometimes in logic and like i said sometimes it does get a little tricky but if i'm not wrong if i put this heat mod in here anywhere it will combine with the with the cold and toxin will then again be alone there you go blast from these two and toxin is lonely again so now what else combines with toxin um Gas, can't do gas. Uh, electricity for corrosion. Okay, so now theoretically, if I put a uh, electricity mod in here, now here's where it gets interesting. We're, let's put this over here, actually, just because. So they're just nice and snug in the middle. Now there is a before this combination... So this slot, and there is an after this combination, every other slot down here and this one. So if I put the um, electricity behind this combo, then that mod should link, connect with what's ever already in the weapon, in this case, toxin. So we should get corrosion and blast. There you go. Corrosion and blast. Because... It already had toxin in it. It searches through the build. The first thing it encounters would be heat. So it would combine it to gas. What's already in the weapon. Plus the next elemental that it finds. Or the first elemental that it finds. Then the second elemental that it finds. Ignores whatever was already in the weapon. And just combines those two elements. That are modded. And if it finds another element. Then that last element. The last one will combine with what was originally in the weapon. So in this case, toxin. So if I put it here in front of the build, then it will change. The first mod that it will find will be the electricity if I drop it here, okay? So then toxin and electricity will combine. The next one will be volcanic edge, so heat. So now you have two modified elements and the game will say, okay, so I got electricity that the player put in there and I got um, heat, and it'll combine those to radiation, okay? And then the north wind, the north wind will be the last one, and that one will then therefore combine with what was in the weapon before, which was toxin, and that should be viral. So if I drop this mod right here, the electricity mod right here, we should get radiation viral, right? Volcanic okay, edge, electricity, radiation viral. Let's see, there we go, radiation, viral so that's the logic behind the build so sometimes the order of which matters 
Holy shit, this cleared up modding for me. Thank you, Toxic Streamer. Yes, yes, that's just, it's the toxicity, man. It empowers me to help people. What can I say?